When people think of me, I want the first thing to come to their minds to be the whole around the way girl. I mean, I'm just that bundle of creativity that should stick to anyone's mind. And judging from all I do and I'm passionate about, you cannot agree more. Ranging from writing, drawing, blogging, content creation, podcasting, storytelling, documentary, singing, reading, and of course, touring. I am Hanilua Hadibanjo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. When the heartbreaking news of Chadwick Boseman broke out, I found it surreal. I just couldn't help myself to believe it. This was someone who, who held great light in his eyes, a huge sense of humor in his voice, who wore his character as Black Panther energetically with so much poise and joy. It wasn't hard to love and relate with Chadwick Boseman in his character as the Black Panther. And it's it's so ironic how someone you've never met resonates with you so much it feels like you've known them all your life. It was in that same ironic way I saw Chadwick Boseman. And I feel so heartbroken to have to talk about him in the past right now. But I can only wish his family, wife, and loyal fans all across the globe, people who his warmness and kindness has touched at one point or the other in one way or another, a heartfelt condolences for this unbearable loss. But if anything, we must continue to live on the legacy he has left behind. To live our purpose, to truly live so that we may never die. Because I think that true death is found in oblivion. But if we truly leave, the world would never forget us, even when we pass on to the world beyond. Death, I believe, is not the worst of all evils. It is a constant reminder to us all that life's too short. And for that reason, we must try to live our lives as confidently and as bravely as we can. There are three things, however, that Bozeman's death taught me. First is the fact that you hold no one, no explanations for the life you choose to live and the things you choose to keep private. Boozman kept his diagnosis of colon cancer private for four years and he kept working so 
briefly that it was hard to tell until the last minutes. Second is the fact that life's too short. But no matter the time frame, you can achieve whatever you choose to. Chadwick achieved so much in such a short time frame. He truly and indeed lived his destiny. And the third and last thing, the Chadwick Boseman's death taught me is to spread so much joy and energy around to the ones that we can reach to as many as we can touch because that for sure the world cannot forget in a long while this podcast episode is dedicated to Chadwick Boseman a true hero fighter and a caregiver who was indeed young gifted and black rest in peace King T'Challa we love you